Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. This was Monday night's dinner. I made some ground turkey tacos and some Mexican corn. Yes. I like to use hard shell and soft shells. I didn't realize that I had got some fajita shells. I was getting some taco smaller shells, but I guess they didn't have it. So they sent that. I always use olive oil. Well, and I actually brown my ground turkey meat. I usually use two packages. It's usually enough for all of us because I don't believe in stuffing the shells with a lot of meat. That's the water for my corn. I season it with garlic powder, a little onion powder, a tab, a tab of slap your mama because the actual ta taco season is going to be enough anyway. Yeah, this is January 8th. I'm just posting this on January 9th. And for some reason, this date stuck out to me. January 9th, wow. In 2020 of January, around this same time, between the 7th and the 9th, maybe even the 10th, that's when my whole world was just changed forever. It would be the beginning of my world being changed forever, put it like that. Because I remember getting a call saying my nephew passed away. And then I got an inbox on Facebook saying my one of my male best friends, uh, ex-boyfriend, was unalive. And I could recall it because I remember we were just brought in a new year. Everything went well. They said nobody got actually, you know, shot or anything like that for the New Year's. Because usually be so much drama on any given day. So I was shocked. Like, wow, nobody? I should have known that. <laughs> because, baby, after that, everything just started falling. And then my mom got sick. Well, she had been sick, but you know how some things just kind of hit you all of a sudden. In May, right before her birthday, she went to the hospital for like a week. And then that's when they diagnosed her with having to be on hospice. So she came here and lived with me and the family. I took care for three weeks. I had hopes that she was gonna get better. She was crying. She was hoping she got better. She did not want to pass. That's the hardest thing about my mother passing, is knowing that she cried and watching her decline right before my eyes. But, uh, and also back in the 80s, January 9th is the day that my kid's father went to jail. We were supposed to get married January 17th. This had to be the year of 1989, 88, I'm going to say, 88. Yeah, but everything happens for a reason, everything, good, bad. Y'all enjoy y'all day. Have a great week.